Hello, it is the one year anniversary event. It's finally dropped and we have all the information, all the events here. So stick around for everything you need to know about the anniversary event. Hello guys, yes, yeah, smash a like, comment and subscribe for more daily videos with me, Miss Sneaky the One and Only. And we're here in Call of Dragons covering the 14 day anniversary event and i'm going to showcase all of the information you're going to need it's all time stamped for you so you know what to do and you can skip forward so the first thing we're going to showcase straight away is the little memorial so you can see this little cool little effect where you can sign in and check out your whole year and see what you've been able to do and you can see i've done some crazy numbers here being able to spend up to 15 hours online on one day up to going up to 1600 hours I have played on this game, which is insanity when you think about the amount of time it's obviously taken to grow as I am at. You can see through all of the gathering stuff as well, how much you've been able to gather as well as the gems, even your most used artifacts and stuff with your most used heroes. You can even look at stuff like all your banishers. You fought the Necro Giant once and brought it through its heroes. Venomous Lizard is your most captured war pet. We can look at my units and stuff. I like this. It's a really cool thing where you can see even when I joined my alliances. Look, I even got a strong bond with Drow, the one and only, which might put a smile on his face because I'm not going to lie. When we met Drow through GG83 um, last season, we were non-stop talking. Honestly, we were having such a good time and just just chatting you know and just joking because we were really good friends so really like to see this and even the good old days when i was with tm right spending my time with tm with the original ghost and all the old team i'm not gonna lie i love the old team of the old tm guys it was really good in the old glory days of season one and two when we first fought with each other and then you've got all of this crazy stuff so what you can do is if you look there's loads of these little you know titles and the beautiful thing about this is you can choose any of these titles that you have and just you know confirm it and you can put your chosen keyword will be displayed above your city hit the confirm and guess what you can claim this bad boy and you get 200 gems that's kind of why i wanted to show this event out and then now you can see it is on top of my cities. It looks really cool, like it says Blade of Earth. And that is like the first little gimmick of this event. So let's go into all of the actual good events now and stuff that you're going to need to know about rewards and all of the ways to get those rewards. So the events, you've got quite a few events to go through, to be honest, and I'm going to break them all down. First one, easy, seven day signing. So just signing each day for seven days. Guess what? You're going to get all these rewards, including, guess what? A thousand gems, which doesn't feel too bad for some uh, seven days signing. Then we have the carnival party. And you're probably wondering how to get all of this stuff, right? Because this is basically your confetti cannon. These are your colorful streamers, and you can obtain these through different events right you can obtain them through the lucky flip you can do them through the caravan escort and there's going to be probably more that's going to unlock over time right but the main thing what we want to showcase is these different events right because you're probably wondering what do you want to get if you have any of these tokens at your disposal right so obviously you're going to get the skin and if you are got the ability to i would suggest getting all of the cosmetics because these are one time only thing so you can see them all getting claimed there and then afterwards it is up to you realistically what you're, you need the things that are really good and maybe if you want to future proof your account books of retraining it sounds crazy but books of retraining is gonna allow you if you've messed up any hero in your account or you want to try and get that 5155 hero you can get these books of retraining with save them and in the future updates, when we were waiting for it, the skill lock reset system should come. So you should be able to fix a lot of heroes for free if you actually get these books of retraining. So I am going to give them a big, big shout out for that. And then on top of that, you guys, though, get the legendary hero tokens. And if you're struggling, you can even get the legendary stars. Because I'm not going to lie, stars are even hard to get. And especially when you're trying to get a six star hero, I will not honestly shout at anyone at low to you know low spend free to play to get this right so those are kind of the main rewards anything else that you may look at you can obviously obtain it's up to you but those are the ones that i am going to suggest through this 
But now we have the lucky flip. I'm going to showcase how to play this. It is got a really cool little pairing mechanic. So you just got to find the pairs and you go up levels. So you can see I'm on the current level is one. All I've got to do is keep going up. And the cool thing is you can change your rewards in this. So you can go for confetti cannons if you want that confetti cannon. Or guess what? You can get the um, resource chest regen pots. But more importantly, which I think most people should be using, is treaties. You're going to get 30 treaties for doing this. So I would always recommend grabbing this. This is insane value right now. That's 300 gems every time you complete this. So I would definitely do that. And if you need to work on your watchtower, Sentinel Arrows is just as good, right? But I honestly think treaties are the harder one to get. So that's why we select it. And all you got to do is find the pairs. And after you've done five of these levels if you've noticed you'll get the deluxe level and the deluxe level is any of these hero tokens and you can get these other rewards on the bottom right so you can get eight tokens for your heroes so this is going to be a really good event for you to run so let's just do a few of these with a shuffle and then we're just going to hopefully guess them right so you just got a key there we go boom done and we just by doing that we've claimed them all and we're on the next level and that's kind of all you want to do so again if you just look at the event rules you spend flip tokens to flip cards each card grants a reward um obviously everything is shuffled you can reselect the desired grand prize at any time this doesn't affect and then flip tokens cannot be used at, at the end events right if you find the grand prize as it says you will immediately receive all remaining rewards on that level so honestly you do want to just keep slamming it and hopefully you get, you know, the, the treaties every time. So the, the, the earlier you can get these, the better. So look, I've already done it in three again. Boom. I'm already on level three now. We're going to keep going. Shuffle. We're going to keep trying to hit these and see if we can find it again. It's not on that side. Uh-oh. Now we're doing a big one. It was all the way on the edge. Unfortunate. So I use a load of tokens. We're on level four now, so you're gonna see the same reward. And next time is where you're gonna see the sculptures. So if we just try and find this, uh oh, there it is. We've got three cheaper, so we've got those three extra rewards. Boom. Now you can see. Please select a grand prize. So you can select your grand prize who you want. I am personally working on my syndrome so i am gonna go and find syndrome i can select him boom and now it's gonna shuffle so now we're gonna shuffle and look for these eight sculptures and hopefully we can get it earlier in there we go nicely we get all those rewards too and then boom it goes straight back to the standard and we can switch back to our treaties so i hope that shows the lucky flip how to do it nice and simple just blast it through guys it's really fun and easy and you can get a ton of rewards and remember all the rewards you are getting you can spend here in the carnival so don't worry about any of that also there is the caravan a score this is a really cool event where you can select the difficulty by basically increasing the amount of stuff that's going to get extra included into your raid. And by doing so, you can see the maximum rewards almost is some legendary sculptures, some keys, as well as all of these other stuff, right? So I do, I'm not going to do a video on this um, in this video. I'm going to make a separate one for it. So if you want to know how to do the caravan escort, hit the comment below and I will do that. But that is pretty much everything, guys. And you can see the rewards here for everything. Even when you're completing the difficulties level or higher, you get even more on top. So this is why it's really good um, to do it. And that is it, guys. That is the event side of the whole uh, seven-day event, so 14-day anniversary event. So let's go to the pay side so you can see what you can spend and what is on offer for you spenders. And this is the fantastic fortune this is the bundle that you can get obviously it starts on five and it goes all the way up to 9.99 i'm not going to go any further because i'm not a big spender and i just want to do some stuff obviously for content right so it makes you guys a little bit easier you can do it all straight away but this is the bundle you're going to be able to get access to straight away on top of this if you go to the great value bundles you'll see there is a higher and higher one this is going to be for your great heights, which I'll showcase just after this section. And then you've got the lucky lord, and this is going to be the flip one. So if you want really, you know, to go ham and level up those heroes, 
flip tokens are all access here you can get a massive amount so if you want to check that out check that out and then as well there is the forge of light event currently going on but we're not going to talk about it. it's not part of our 14 day event right the cool thing is if you are spending right now you can see boom there is a purchase back reward and this is one thing i did warn players about when they were asking me about this in game just wait because there is going to be bundles and you can see you can get up to 25 extra legendary sculptures for spending all of that money right so that's basically all you're going to need to know for the event side of things you know you've got your seven day event you've got your carnival pie which is going to be where you redeem all your stuff you've got this magical memoirs where you can change the title on top of your city which is really cool and go over some of your you know history of the year you got your lucky flip your great height which is now going to be the one i'm going to cover and then you've got caravan escort right so that's all of the main events on this whole anniversary event so great heights i've left it at the end on purpose because i purposely think this is a event for only krakens or spenders or even if you may be a low spender you know free to play you might have saved and i'm just going to suggest that you might have saved for four seasons there is some crazy psychopaths out there that have been able to do that they have the discipline and they can save so if you are going to go for this this is the great heights event this is basically going against two servers or basically two divisions in the game and you can see there's a number of different servers that are all competing so you are going to be competing against a massive amount of players right so if you really want to get this reward of the permanent skin which is the flames of heaven and you need to get that top 10 ranking in order to get that just be aware of what is required to do so you can go into the quest you can see all the quests as well you will be able to get some extra goodies and i will recommend no matter what every player during the great event um just go up to 1 million right increase your power guys by 1 million however you can if it's training troops which is the easiest way do it that way so you've got a bunch of more troops ready to fight but get 1 million extra power get this cooked because you're gonna want those eight extra legendary sculptures to add on to all of their legendary sculptures you're gonna get in this 14 day anniversary and that is it guys that is everything i hope you have enjoyed the video i've covered everything in this 14 day day anniversary showcased it off even played a little bit of it for you guys so you've got a nice little gameplay idea of what you expected when you're in this game and that's it so if you enjoyed it smash a like comment and subscribe and until the next video guys stay safe stay sneaky peace out